Hey, what's up, Star Wars fans? So, I've had quite a few of you <laughs> request that I do a video explaining the Darth Jar Jar theory, and I figure I had better get to that before The Force Awakens comes out and it's proven either correct or incorrect. Uh, I'll talk about what I think after I explain the theory. But before I get into that, first let me say kudos to Reddit user Lumpawaru for putting together not only a fun, but a well-thought-out fan theory that actually does kind of make sense. So Lumpy's theory is basically that Jar Jar Binks is not only a Force user, but a master of deception, and that he will be revealed as Supreme Leader Snoke in The Force Awakens. First, he establishes that Jar Jar is a skilled and acrobatic warrior. He displays physical skills that we mostly attribute to Jedi. In battle, he dispatches numerous droids and even a battle tank under the guise of luck. But as we all know... In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Additionally, the way Jar Jar carries himself is reminiscent of Drunken Fist Wushu. Moving past combat, Jar Jar also appears to be a master of mind control. He manipulates Jedi, royalty, and even the entire Galactic Senate. Lumpy speculates that Jar Jar was meant to be the dark side foil of Yoda. If you recall in The Empire Strikes Back, Yoda appears as a silly old creature and is revealed to be the wisest and strongest of the Jedi. Well, Jar Jar appears as a silly, bumbling idiot, but would have revealed himself to be a powerful Sith in league with Palpatine. After all, they are from the same planet. But with such a strong negative reaction to Jar Jar, Lumpy guesses that Luke is chickened out and replaced Jar Jar with Count Dooku. There is even some behind-the-scenes footage that could support the fact that Jar Jar is more important than he appears. Jar Jar is a key to all this. With the new films, Lumpy thinks part of the goal is to redeem the prequels a little bit, and that the possible original plan for Jar Jar will be brought back into play. Now for my thoughts. Again, I think that this is a very fun theory, and Lumpawaru deserves all the credit for putting it together. I'm glad that this is going viral. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, but I do not think that it's true. Jar Jar being one of the most universally disliked things about the franchise, agree with that or not, even non-Star Wars fans know that Star Wars fans don't like Jar Jar. So for Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams to come out of the gate with Jar Jar in any capacity, whether he is revealing himself as a Sith Lord or if he's just in the movie at all, I think that would be... I think there'd be some fan backlash to that. So I don't think that Jar Jar is going to make any appearance in the following films. I think he's long gone and we're not going to see him anymore. But I could always be wrong and I'm willing to make a wager on that. So if Lumpy turns out to be correct and Jar Jar is revealed to be Supreme Leader Snoke, I will not only prioritize doing a Jar Jar video, which has been requested a couple times anyway, so I'm going to get around to it at some point. Not only will I prioritize doing the video, I will do the entire video in my best slash worst Gungan accent, which literally might kill me. Anyway, that's what I think about the Darth Jar Jar or Darth Darth Binks theory. A lot of fun, but I just don't think it's true. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and we can discuss it. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.